Hello everyone, my name is Kinsley Tochku and in today's video, I'm extremely excited to share my smart method with you guys. It's all about getting the dollar at bank rate in Nigeria and reselling this dollar at the black market conversion rate. With a few key strategies and the insider knowledge that I will share with you guys today, you will be able to make a huge profit with this strategy. In my last video, a lot of people were complaining about the Nigerian card restrictions, while some keep asking about the best card to use for online transactions. So today, I have come to update you guys on this strategy to get dollar at bank rates. One good thing about this strategy is that you don't even need any bank card for it. So if you are ready to unlock the secret to getting dollar at bank rates in Nigeria, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss out on all my exclusive tips and tricks to help you make money online and save big. Now without wasting your time, let's get started immediately. So this is my home screen and the first thing we need to do is to open our browser to create an account with GeekPay dot com geekpay dot africa geekpay dot africa now i will drop the link to geekpay dot africa on the description section and i will also drop my referral link referral code over there so that when you create an account with my referral code, you will get a bonus on your first deposit or first transaction on geekpay.africa. So when you click on the link that I will drop on the comment section or the description section, it will take you to this dashboard. This is exactly where it will take you to. Now, if you have an account with them you will have to log in here but if you don't have an account with them the next thing to do is to create an account here you click on create an account now once you click on create an account it will take you to this place where you will have to choose how you would like to use GigPay. Now you will choose whether I am a freelancer or I want to create a company account. Of course, you are individual. You have to choose I am a freelancer unless you want to create a company account. But for the sake of this video, we are choosing I am a freelancer. You click here. Once you click here, it will ask you where you are from yourself you are self-employed and operate under your own name then you have to choose your country are you from kenya or nigeria you click here nigeria because i'm making this video for my nigerian friends so once you choose nigeria you click continue here then it will take you to where you will have to put your email address and your referral code. Then when you put your email address here, you put the referral code. Remember that the referral code that I will drop on the description section is King King T O 1774. That is the code you will put on the referral code section. Then you click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will take you to where you will have to activate your email address. They will send a, a mail to your email asking you to activate your account or verify your account. So you open your email address, verify your account. After verifying your account, your account will be active. Then once your account is active, the next thing you will have to do is to verify your identity. Now let me go back to login my account so you will understand what I'm saying. I already have an account here so I will have to log in to show you guys. Now this is my account. Let me go to certain then identity verification now once your account is created 
then you will have to pass their KYC in order to start using their platform. Of course, we all know that any financial institution need our KYC before we start using their platform. So to pass the KYC, you have to verify your identity. To verify your identity, you will either use your international passport or your national identity card or your driver's license. You will use any government issued ID card in order to verify your identity. Then after verifying your identity, the next thing is to verify your address. Now to verify your address, you will either provide your utility bill, which is called NEPA bill in Nigeria, or your bank statement. These are the two acceptable documents for address verification. Now, once you are done with verifying your identity, they will issue you a USA bank account just like this, my own. They issued me a West Fargo bank account and you are going to get your own West Fargo bank account. Once you get your West Fargo bank account after passing your identity verification, the next thing is to copy this bank details, copy it and save it somewhere. It is very important. Now, the next thing is to proceed to how to get this dollar into this account because our plan is to send dollar into this West Fargo bank account so that we can convert it into Naira at black market conversion rate. Now, as you can see, a lot of people might be wondering or asking if GigPay is legit. GigPay dot africa is legit and they have been existing for a very long time i have been using gray.co this is my gray.co account as you can see this is my account and these are some of the transactions i have been doing on gray.co gray.co is exactly the same thing with GigPay. but recently last month i got a message from them telling me that I can no longer use my US bank account to do to some issue they had with the bank they issued me, which is Savergate Bank. So they said they suspended issuing new US account details. So not only me, everyone, they recently stopped issuing US bank account details. So I switch over to GigPay. That is why I switch over to GigPay. If you watch it very well, you will see that I I started using this GigPay recently. May my first my first transaction here is on May twenty May 10, 2023. So you see the two transactions I have done here. So once you get your own US bank account, then the next step is to proceed to any Nigerian bank bank to carry out a transaction that is how we will get this dollar at cheaper rate now you will have to be smart here that is why i said that this is a smart method of getting dollar at bank rates when you go to nigerian bank any nigerian bank at all either access bank uh Zenith Bank, UBA Bank, any bank at all or first bank, when you get to that place, tell the cashier that you want to send money abroad to your brother. Tell them that you want to send money abroad to your relative and you quickly ask them what is the conversion rate for dollar. Or you can as well check on the dashboard where they are displaying the current exchange rates. Make sure you follow the procedure that I'm telling you. Tell them you are sending this money to your relative. Do not tell them that you are sending this money to a friend or a stranger. If you tell them that you are sending this money to your friend or a stranger, they will require more interrogation or investigation from you. They will start asking you purpose of sending this money and uh, other questions. Or they may even request to take your picture for security reasons. That is why it is very important for you to tell them that you are sending this money to your relative. You know that Nigerian rules in sending money abroad now is strict. So that is why you have to be smart in whatever you are doing. 
so they will issue you a deposit slip for you to fill form for your transaction now why filling this form a trans a transfer form why filling this deposit form please we all know that every single human being have three names your first name your middle name and your surname which is your last name now when it comes to depositors details write only one name let's assume that your name is emeka justin Wanko, emeka justin Wanko. then you will have to choose emeka as depositors name do not put one call which is your surname choose one name of course you know that when it comes to depositors details nigerian bank does not care about your surname in depositors detail so you can write only one name there as depositors name then when it comes to receivers name put your middle name and your surname there you do not have to let them know that you are the one receiving this money because if they know that you are sending this money into your account they will tell you to go and get dollar outside the bank and the common deposit remember that our target is to get this dollar at cheaper rates at bank rates so you have to be smart enough and not to let them know that you are depositing the money into your account because they will ask you to go and get dollar outside and when you go and get dollar outside at the aboki place it will be very costly for you so that is why you have to be smart so after filling the depositors form you give them the money and the next thing is to go back to your house and relax and wait for your money to land into your account remember that some some cashier will request to take your picture for security reasons now there are two occasions where they will request to take your picture the first one is depending on the amount you are sending if you are sending amounts more than one thousand dollars they may request to take your picture for security reasons and another reason why they may request to take your picture for security reason is when you tell them you are sending this money to a friend or a stranger so that is why I told you to tell them that you are sending this money to your relative. But in any way, if they request to take your picture, you don't have to be afraid because you already know that you are not committing any crime with the money. You are not using the money for any fraudulent activity. Our only target is to get that money into our account at bank rates. That is our target there is no other crime we are committing with it so you don't have to be afraid of them taking your picture of course you know that my channel does not does not accept any illegal activities so you don't have to be afraid when they request to take your picture so after filling the form you give them the your money and the deposits details now you go back to your house sit back and relax wait for your money to be deposited into your account once the money is deposited into your account then you open your gig pay account now this is exactly the kind of message you will get once the money is deposited into your account let me open my email now once the money is deposited you will get a credit transaction notification from gig pay they will tell you hi a credit transaction has occurred on your account please see transaction details below then once you get this credit alert the next thing is to quickly open your gig pay account to do the conversion immediately now once you open your gig pay account you come to this place they wrote quick action you click on quick action you click on convert fund when you click on convert fund let's now let's assume let's assume you deposited hundred dollar into your account now hundred dollar will give you seventy four thousand three hundred and thirty four naira that is what hundred dollar will give you i know that an average nigeria can provide hundred dollar that is why i use hundred dollar now 
if you deposit 100 dollar and get 74,000, now let us know exactly what is the current exchange rate exchange rate let us convert 100 dollar in night with the bank rate to know exactly how much it will cost us to get this dollar into our account now we are converting 100 dollar to ngn naira convert okay we will buy we will dep we will give the bank 46000 46000 is what we are going to give the bank 46000 zero eight two now that is the amount it will cost us to deposit this money now let us assume we deposit we use forty six thousand to deposit this to get this money into our account now look at the profit we have made now let me use my calculator let me use calculator to know Now this is my calculator now what we have to do now is to minus the amount we used to deposit this money the amount we gave the bank the bank rate the current bank rate which is hundred dollar is forty six thousand zero eighty two naira now and the money gets to our gig pay account then we have to convert it into naira to get seventy four thousand three three four that is seventy four thousand three hundred and thirty four now let us minus seventy seventy four thousand three three four minus the initial money we the we bought the dollar at which is the bank rate which is forty six thousand for six thousand zero eighty two naira eighty two naira now our profit is twenty eight thousand two hundred and fifty two that is the profit we made with hundred dollar now let's assume we deposited five hundred dollar into our pay account now this is the profit now let us times this profit times five hundred this profit twenty eight thousand two fifty two times five. That is, if we deposited five hundred dollar into our gig pay account times five, equal to now our profit will be one hundred and forty one thousand two hundred and sixty thousand naira. One hundred and forty one thousand two hundred and sixty naira. That is our profit now this is something you can do several times now remember that after converting this money it will be deposited into your naira account which is this place the money will be deposited here once you convert it it will leave your u.s bank to this place now once the money arrive at your ngn account then the next thing to do is to click on send you come to this place to request to send this money you click on send money you will send this money if you have not linked your account already then you have to come to this place to choose account now they will ask you choose a withdrawal method bank transfer and you choose recipient country of course it's nigeria you choose nigeria currency currency is ng and you choose then you choose choose type account type local bank then now you have to fill this from recipient type you choose a person it is not a business unless you are sending to a company account then bank name you choose the bank here we have a lot of bank here all nigerian banks is here then you choose let's say i choose one which one will i choose let me choose coda bank i choose coda bank then account number and account name you fill it and submit the money will be deposited into your account immediately without wasting time now guess what once you receive the money into your nigerian bank account 
the next thing is to withdraw the money take your profit and then go back to the bank and do the transaction again this is what you can do several times to make money you can do it two times three times in a week you can do it four times in a month depending on your strength and if you have a friend who is working in bank it will be very easy for you all you have to do is just come to the bank fill in the form give the, your friend your friend will carry out the transaction for you that is if you have a friend who is working in bank even if you don't have a friend who is working in bank you can make a friend you can make a friend with bank worker once you come you fill the form without any further interrogation or anything they will carry out the deposit for you you go back to your house wait to receive the money once you receive the money you convert it and go back this is exactly how you will be making this money i hope everything is clear and simple please if you don't understand anything i explain on this video Please do well to leave the comment on the comment section. I will be glad to respond to it. And if you find this video interesting, please do well to subscribe to my channel. That is the only way you can support me on this journey. And I will really appreciate. Now, let me state this as a disclaimer. The information provided on this video is for educational and the informational purposes only. This video does not guarantee the accuracy and the completeness of the information provided. So you are advised to carry out your own research before using the information on this video. And please make sure to follow exactly the step that I said or I showed you on this video in order to get the exact results. Thank you.